talk silly. Wait, wait. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to teach you how to read. No. Teachers say I can't be taught. Well, what do the teachers know? About as much as the doctor, right? <laughs> see this? It's just the paper. Well, look closer until you can see the words. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this word is jab. J, that's an A, and that's a B. J, A, B. Jab. Now you go on. Do what I did. Okay. J, A, B, J. than any person in the whole world. Me too. Marion Rose White. What do you want? Just a little operation, hon. What kind? Just a little cut. Your mother signed the consent form. I saw it. You don't! Now just relax. No! When you wake up, it'll be all over. Oh, damn you bastard! Clamped and ligated about one inch distal to the corner. Large size piece of the corner was excised with the proximal tube. You take away my babies, and you give me this. Marion, it wasn't my fault. You signed, didn't you, Stella? You told him, go ahead. How she'll never even know. Honey, I signed it first. But the doctor said it had to be done before... Before what? Before I could meet a boy? Before I could fall in love and get married? Before I could have children or grandchildren? 
Honey, I sent the doctor a letter. I told him not to do it. I told him it wasn't right for you. I know he got it. Please believe me. You know what? I do believe you. But what I want to know is why you put me here in the first place. Why? Was it... Was it because I broke your grandmother's vase? Or because I spilled food on your dress? Or was it just just because I just couldn't see? Marion, that's not the reason. I put you in every school I could. You're the one who got kicked out, not me. Marion, I tried everything I could. There was nothing else I could do. There's just no place else I could put you, Marion. You may hate me now, but believe me, this was the best place for you, and for me, and for Jack. I never want to see you again. This place is my home and my family now. So you can just quit pretending and get out. Get out of here. Get out! I never want to see you again! Nurse, get out! Get out of here! Well, this is really quite an honor, Lord Bates. What can I show you during your brief visit? How can I most help you and uh, <laughs> King George? Well, His Majesty is most impressed with your negative eugenics program. We'd like to know more about your surgical techniques and political techniques, to be quite frank. It would be with my utmost pleasure to. Delighted to hear. It's quite impossible for us to perform these operations at this time. Of course, we have the facilities and the know-how. It's just the law that restricts us from getting any... Why did you sterilize Marion White? Why? Why? This patient didn't need it, didn't want it, and didn't deserve it. Hasn't she gone through enough? Nurse McNeil, shall we go to another room to discuss... No, that? we shall not. I can't believe that there's anything genetically wrong with her. She's got great compassion, and she's wonderfully clever with children. Please forgive these histrionics, Lord Bates. The inmate who this woman is trying to defend is a psychopath who's caused nothing but trouble from her very first day here. Now, Nurse McNeil, you leave me no choice but to... Oh, Dr. Ashcraft. Marion locked herself in the staff bathroom with scissors. These, uh, these things are not uh, uncommon, Lord Bates. Uh, please excuse me a minute. Marion, please open the door. Open, open. Please let us in. Marion. Marion, can you hear us? Can you snap? No, not for a few minutes. Go to the custodian and get a key. Okay. Get a fire axe. Do something. Marion. It's Bonnie. Please open the door. Marion, Marion, you've got to try and get to the door and open it. Please. Uh, please Marion, please, 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 please let me handle this. Marion, dear. It's Daddy Ashcroft. Here to see just you. Go well, prepare a straight jacket, would you please? Yes. I have a special treat for you. If you just come out here for one second. You make me sick, you sanctimonious hypocrite. Haven't you maimed her enough? Miss McNeil, for you are no longer a nurse here. You are hereby ordered off the premises. Get out of my hospital! No! 
Mary. You're not going to leave. I don't have anyone else here but you. She doesn't need that. No, no, it's, it's, it's not necessary. Is that your special treat? Cutting up my insides wasn't enough. Why did you do it to me? Why? You really want to know why? Take a look around you. Would you want to have children if you knew they'd be like this? Maybe I would. But how do you know about me? Me? I never even had any. I never even had me a chance to find out. Well, now you'll never have to worry about it. Believe me, one day you'll thank me. You know what? I don't think you give a hoot about any of us in here. I look at you and I can tell, even with my eyes, you don't see any of us. teacher. Oh, that's because nobody else takes the time. I got all the time in the world. <laughs> Hi, Randy. You look almost ready to go. A couple more months, then I'm free. Would you take Lucy over to the canteen and buy us a couple of soft drinks? Uh-oh. Serious talk. <laughs> Be glad to. Come on, Lucy. You'd be a good girl for Randy, okay? <laughs> He'll buy you something to drink. Oh. There you go. No. Bye, Mom. Bye. <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about your mother. It was so sudden. Yeah, well. I at least don't have. She's not here for me to blame anymore. <laughs> you know, I hope she goes to heaven. Guess I'm really stuck here for good now, huh? Well, guess what? You're going to be reevaluated. No sedation this time. You have a good chance of getting out of here. Am I going to live with you? No, honey. There's a friend of mine who's trying to keep her two retarded children at home. She knows all about you, and she needs your help. She does? She's right by a school that gives special classes for the handicapped. You can help my friend, and maybe you can help at school. All you have to do is pass the IQ test. Mm, I don't know. Marion, what is it? I said, I don't know. I'm doing so good here with Lucy and the other kids. I just don't think I should leave them. You've got to make a life for yourself on the outside. 
You deserve so much more than this. Yeah, but there's nothing like helping those kids walk and talk. Or helping them feed themselves if that's all they can do. There's just not a feeling like it in the whole world. Then let it be your profession. Use it to your advantage. Don't hide anymore. You're too good. You're too smart. I just don't know, Bonnie. I was going to wait until later for this, but... I found this in your admittance files. Hold out your hand. Consider me. To, to think about something until you have insight. Okay. How many cubes are drawn here? Can I look at it up close? Yeah. Sure. I see two. What are these for? They're umbrellas, and they help keep the rain away. Aren't you going to ask me about Genesis? Genesis? The last head doctor asked me what it was. All right. What's Genesis? I looked it up. It's the beginning of the world. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness fell upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the waters, and God said, Let there be light. And there was light. What'd I get? Oh, I can't add up your exact score right now. Did I pass? Oh, Marion, yes. You not only passed, I don't think you should have been here in the first place. Oh, hell, I could have told you that.
from Sonoma State Hospital to begin her life on the outside. In 1979, she returned to the same institution, where today she assists cerebral palsy children under the Foster Grandparents Program.